Tokyo 24th Ward, Episode 9. The whole episode looks like a backstory. Pinakita rito kung paano nagkakilala si Corey Suido at si Kanae. Yup. Uh, ang mga magulang nila Koki at Asumi. Simpleng research scientist lang nung araw si Kanae. Nung nagkakilala sila ni ni Gori Suido. And Gori Suido is a, was a rich businessman. Kaya hindi pa siya politiko rito. Assistant para ni Kanae si si Chukiri who will eventually be known as Zirot. So now we know kung saan niya nakuha yung pilat niya rito na parang cross. Yeah. Naksident sila noon. And na critical condition itong si Chukiri. Okay, we'll, we'll just call him Zero. Okay, he's, he's known mas mas cool na pangalan na Zero eh. We also found out here that um well, basically how how Kana it died. Meron pala siyang sinundan na parang yeah, yeah, she looks homeless and Tuliro. So, sinundan ni ni Kana eh para yeah, siguro para siguro yayain dun sa food bank nila. Well, she actually started the food bank eh. Eh, ang, sa, ang bilis na pangyayari. Bigla na siya sinaksak dito. But before but before that woman stabbed her, nakialam yung yung isang uh, kakilala ni Susuragawa na ngayon ay SARG officer. Yung may pila dito ganon. Now we know how we got that how we got that scar of his by protecting Kanae. But he failed. Namatay si Kanae dito. And si Susuragawa pala um, kumaga, she was the object of that car accident sana. Pero, ang napuruhan dito, si Zirot. So, yeah, you can now say that everything is connected. Okay? So, because of um, Kana's um, system, talagang bumili, talagang nagpa-apprentice na si Susuragawa dito. As young, she was only, she was only in, she was only a junior high at the time nung nangyari yung aksidente. Nung namatay si Kana eh, uh, Gori vowed to continue her research through Susuragawa. Eventually, the Kana system was born. Ngayon, ang problema, wala sila makuwang CPU na Oh, powerful enough to 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 run this supercomputer. Eh, they had no choice but to use Asumi's uh, Asumi's brain. Kasi kamamatay lang ni Asumi noon. A few hours, uh, they they just made the decision hours after Asumi's death. Ayun nilagay siya. Final scene. We now go back to. So what was going on inside Asumi's brain while she was in the Kanae system? Ayun nga, the events leading to the pilot. So una pala niyang hininga ng tulong, si Shuta. We're gonna break that episode down now. Critic sub style. Pace! Although it took the entire episode for this backstory to, um, to transpire, medyo mabilis ang pacing. Siguro, it jumped, um, it jumped a scene every time. Parang ganun yung feeling ko eh. It, it was, it was a backstory episode because I had those backstory feels. Hindi siya, well, obviously, hindi siya recap. Unlike what, unlike what King's Raid did last year. Final three episodes, dun pa nag-recap. <laughs> At least dito, Although Road to the Finale, this was an all-important backstory. Kumbaga, it was the series of events that led to the pilot. You need to get this over with before the final three episodes. Do I have complaints? Obviously none, mga ka lifestyle. Patreon. <laughs> Flo naman. Um, 
Kasi backstory episode eh. I only saw one gear shift here. Which was yung pagkakapatay kay kay, uh, kay Kana eh. For me, this is the gear shift that triggered the entire anime. Because hindi naman magiging ng ganito si Gori kung na, na, na gumawa ng ganitong klaseng foolproof na security system for his, for his entire community that um, kung hindi na matay si Kana eh. So, in all indications, if you're going to hold on to this gear shift as a um, bilang baon sa final three episodes next week as of this recording, do it. By all means, do it. Because this gear shift triggered the anime. Plot lies. Backstory episode eh. So, planchado ang plot, mga ka-lifestyle. Kasi, even the final scene, you cannot consider that to be part of the main continuity. Kasi, well, it's actually a side story. So, hindi mo pwede siyang, hindi mo siya pwede isali sa main continuity na ng anime. This, well, while Asumi was thinking this, the pilot was already happening. So, I could not count this as part of the main continuity of the um, of the anime at least. So, well, you gotta hand it to Cloverworks for um, for cinching in a backstory episode like this with with a pacing and uh, with a with a back plot. Planchado, planchado yung plot ng ane uh, ng episode nato. It was well ironed out. Considering na nasa road, the, road to the finale na tayo, guys, ha? Okay? They would sit in an episode like this. Na, hindi ko naman kinaisi, kinainisan. And, well, the backstory was totally necessary. Alam na natin ngayon kung ano yung pinaghuhugutan ng tatay ni Koki. So because of Kana is death. And, of course, alam na rin natin ngayon kung ano pinaghuhugutan ni Zero. Kung bakit gano'ng kalaki, kalaki ang galit niya kay Gori Suido. And that's why why he wants to completely shut down the Kana e system. This is probably the first time I've ever deep dived into a backstory episode. And the plot afforded me that. Although ironed out, ha? <laughs> so pace, flow, and plot, they all came together for this episode, folks. So, Tokyo 24th Ward, Episode 9. Can't believe I'm going to give this one backstory episode. Two thumbs up. I'm going to explain further why. Kasi, all throughout this anime, ngayon pa lang inexplain. Ngayon pa lang binigyan ng, ng visual reference yung mga pinagsasabi ni, uh, ni Gori Suido ni Zero, eto talaga ang full explainer. So, well, be, um, before Koki, Ran, and Shota were born, may connected na silang lahat sa isa't isa. You can now say that their connections will have repercussions in the final three episodes. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I am 90% sure, mga ka-lifestyle. They will probably dictate whatever connections Koki, Ran, and Shuta still have in the final three episodes. Kaya, ako, personally, sinasabi ko sa inyo, you don't have to um, watch the, the, this entire episode. Panoorin nyo lang yung nangyari kay Kanae dito kung paano siya namatay. I'm telling you, that gear shift triggered this anime. Final three episodes na ng anime na to. Cloverworks original pa. Palalagpasin nyo pa ba? So again, Tokyo 24th Ward Episode 9, two thumbs up.
Another two thumbs up for 24 mga ka lifestyle. Wow, I can't believe I just gave two th- the two thumbs up to a backstory episode. Pero you can you can't deny the importance of this one. So Patreon, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still glued to the CHD, well, wala na ako magagawa sa inyo. Mag-chill-chill lang muna kayo dyan. Enjoy this review and wait for the next one.